sorry, was that uh, who the England seaside? <laughs> yeah, not the seaside. All oh, right, England. Okay. <laughs> the England seaside against against who was it? Who is it? Scotland, Ireland, Wales. It was only it was only players from Portsmouth, Brighton, uh, <laughs> yeah. Bournemouth, Blackpool. Yeah. <laughs> It's the Pompey Podcast, Pompey Champions League One. Good evening, Dan. Good evening. Good You're evening. Right. Uh, very good, thank you. Very good, yourself? Terrific. Right, this is the Pompey Podcast, which is, as by its name would suggest, the podcast which is all about Portsmouth Football Club, the League One Champions 23-24. We're going to talk about the game against Wigan at the weekend, the trophy lift. We're going to do our shortlist for the player of the season. Player of the season awards have been given out left, right and centre, haven't they, recently? Oh, crikey, Players, yes. player and, and the, the local newspaper player of the year, etc. But we'll be doing ours, only our shortlist. We're not going to announce it until next week. Um, then we'll have a little bit of quiz and we will look ahead to the Lincoln game for what it's worth. Not that it matters to anyone really apart from Lincoln. It matters to them, um, yes. It does matter to them, yes. Let's start with the Wigan game, Dan. Yep. Lots of changes. How did, how, 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 how did you feel about the starting lineup? firstly? Oh, Were you surprised yeah. to see some faces? Oh, I was, yeah. But, well, yeah, no, I wasn't too bothered. But then... After half an hour, I was saying, "Can we just get the nor- <laughs> Can we just get the normal players on now, please? <laughs> can we just kick the first team out? Can we just yeah? Can we just get the real players on? But no, it is what it is, isn't it? I hate that. Mm. It is what it is. But yeah, it's yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, it just doesn't, <laughs> doesn't mean anything, does it? And, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a string of words, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's how good. how important you know how desperate are you to reach the hundred point mark? I think it, if it had never been done before, then you might be disappointed. But it has been done loads of times, so don't, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I only actually saw a couple of people complaining on social media. Oh, was, seriously? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one bloke that wasn't happy with the with the way we played, and it was just like fucking hell, mate. Jesus. Well, as in as in the way we played wasn't then wasn't then neutralized and by by then forgotten but you know with with the trophy presentation which i think most no. people most people no. kind of for, forgotten forgave by the time the trophy presentation came around with regards to the performance didn't they yeah yeah most people well everyone that was there but yeah, yeah. And most people on social media but yeah a couple of people this this one particular chat wasn't happy. Didn't he wasn't happy yeah. with the performance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, you just, oh, just, yeah, he just really rubbish. cannot please everyone, can you? No, it's it's, it's strange because I I put out the little score prediction thing on Saturday morning as per usual, and I, I expected, if I'm honest with you, I kind of half expected that performance, especially when I saw the lineup because I thought Rafferty. Well, most people, most players, obviously wouldn't normally drink during the week and mm. I'm not I'm not saying they shouldn't have had a drink fair enough it's, it's fine but I just think you've still got a couple of games to play yet so maybe you should as professionals hold it off for a couple of weeks but I'm not I'd yeah. like to, I'm not begrudging yeah. them the drink but I didn't expect them having had a quite a few drinks to then come and you know yeah you know, these are these aren't Sunday leaguers they, they're not going to perform the same having had a few shandies than, yeah. than they would do without because they're and- elite athletes and, um, the extent of the drinking as well, I thought. Yeah, bit, yeah. But yeah, that's 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 the words about hairs. Picking, uh, picking uh, hairs, splitting hairs, splitting hairs. <laughs> picking hairs. Picking hairs. <laughs> picking hairs. <laughs> that's what picking hairs doing, out of your <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or picking yeah. bugs out of hairs. Yeah, picking um, bugs out of hairs. Yeah, I'm not going to pick bugs out of hairs, Mike. Yeah, I think they've had a Paddy Lane and and Rafferty, that, and they they're only the two that I think of, but just because they were interviewed. But yeah. I imagine most were the same. We're still fairly tipsy. Twenty four hours later, suggests it's not going to be the great best performance. And I think that considered, I actually thought it wasn't too bad. One thing I would say though is Lang was obviously fired up because it was against his old side, oh. but he seemed quite fired up in the game before as well, didn't he? Well, I did say before the game. I said to my son, I wonder how long it will take Lang to get booked. And then it was the 16th mm. minute. So that's going to be my new bet, I think, from now on. <laughs> it's just to put some money on Lang to get a yellow card. Yeah, he does seem, I don't know, he does seem, and it's like you say, it's every game. He's he's quite, mm. 
he leaves a leg in or he goes in for tackles when you just think, don't go in for that one. You're not going to win the ball and you're just going to get a yellow card for that. Mm. And even after he got his yellow card, he did another one, although the, the guy completely dived. Well, you know, it's yeah. one of those where he's kicking it down the line that they do so often. Yeah. In where he's kicking it down the line, you go to block it and then they go, ah, pull their leg back, don't they, and do the old yeah. jump in the end. Yeah, so he got away with that one. I think if that was the first one, he would have got yellow for that. But yeah, agree. Yeah, I don't know. He just does seem a bit. Since he's been back from his injury, his latest injury, like against Barnsley, he did one where I can't. Oh, he got he got booked for it, didn't he? Where they were just he was even just passing it back to the goalkeeper. He, it's one of those where he dived in, caught the player, clearly a yellow card, but he didn't even need to catch the player because all he's trying to do is stop him from passing it back to the goalkeeper. So just. Yeah dive in the way of it rather than dive out the player. No need. Yeah. No, that's it's right. almost like he's trying to make a mark. Was it also him that was involved when the little melee went on and then Will Norris did his little comedy? Is that Isn't what that was? Yeah, no, I, I heard the big cheer. I, I, thought, um, I thought their player had got sent off because there was a big cheer because I couldn't see what was going on. But then somebody said it was something to do with what Norris did, but I didn't actually see what yeah. he did. Is that what he did? He to be fair, to be fair, he kind of diffused the whole situation because oh, a couple okay. of Wigan players saw him and, and laughed. Yeah. Basically, there's, there's like about it. ten players kind of all facing off. Yeah, Norris just suddenly runs from the back, goes up on the shoulders of a Pompey player, is like an extra four feet in the air and just does a massive gurn. Oh, right. just diffused the whole situation. Oh, which was yeah. quite quite good, I thought, considering some companies might just plough on ink since. Not the, yeah. the sharpest tools for that. But overall, yeah, dis- disappointing game, but it, it meant nothing. And ultimately, the job had already been done in the previous 44 games, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Luck. Uh, after we went 2 0 down, was, yeah. was quite good. They, they just sort of battered them, didn't they, for 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. But... And I actually thought we might, might get an equaliser, but uh, they yeah, I thought we might, the, yeah. Old, even, old um, yeah. Even you could see Lane saying to Rafferty, you were that close. To getting a goal, mm. and Rafferty, and Rafferty laughed it off. Um, yeah, yeah. First man for the one Rafferty. stage, Rafferty. Yeah, yeah. He was just staying up there for the last five minutes or so. And Ra- Rafferty yeah, had a like... peg from twenty-five yards. Yeah, long. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were saying about how good the goal was. Yeah. The well, they were saying about how good the goal he was, but I thought a lot of the ones he sort of patterkaked back into uh, yeah. back into play, Danger. didn't he? Like that, like the ragged one. It was a good hit, but. It was straight at him, and he sort of did that one of those weird ones where yeah. he just pats it back into play. Yeah, I don't, make, I don't remember him making any outstanding saves. He made, he made saves, but they were they're all ones you'd fairly you'd expect yeah. to be fairly comfortable with, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah never mind. But then the presentation of the trophy afterwards, how yeah. how how was it? it how, looked amazing. It looked how amazing. how what how long was it? Did you say? How long was it? Yeah, well, <laughs> it did go on for. Did you yeah, get it went on the same on. day? Yeah, I think by the time they so they obviously they started um, by the tunnel, made their way down the south stand down to the Milton end, round to us at the north north stand. I think by the time they'd been with us for about fifteen minutes, that was when I went right. Come on, then, let's go. <laughs> but no, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good to see all the families and yeah, everyone there, all the kids. It, no, yeah. it's good. It was a good atmosphere down there actually. On Saturday, it's quite funny as well. There's some funny things. Oh, really? Such as? Yeah. Like the like the fans, so the front end, the front end tell you what to do, obviously. So they say mm. north, north stand, bounce around, and south stand, oh, yeah. bounce around, and yeah. Milton, Milton end, bounce around. And then they did the Wigan fans, bounce around. So the Wigan fans would go, yeah, as well. Okay. So, yeah, they, yeah, they were joining in. As well, so yeah, it's quite good. And the beach ball, obviously, have you seen that? The beach, yeah, yeah, in the goal, yeah, and you yeah. seen the one yeah. that went in the goal, yeah. So, yeah, it was all right. It was, it was, it was good fun. Yeah, good, yeah. good, good, good. Any, any note? Any wags of note? They're all of note, aren't they? They're all uh, of note. Yeah. yeah, they're all of note. Okay. Wags, yeah. No, I did no. think that. I did wonder what it'd be like if you were a footballer with a not attractive wag. <laughs> oh, just a, just a, a normal looking wife. Yeah, just a normal looking. Yeah, yeah. Not would you, not would you take level. it with you, or would you just, just yeah, just just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stay, uh, just stay at home yourself. Now. Oh, okay. Um, we'll move on. We'll move on. But excellent. Yes, very good. It was nice to see actually. All the squad getting involved as well. I thought it was quite nice the way that uh, Massinho kind of 
acknowledged every single player that came on and it all seemed quite genuine and warm, yeah. didn't it as well even the players yeah. didn't play much yeah um, it was good actually yeah when they called them all and they all came out yeah and they, they all got a big <laughs> they all got a big round of applause and a big cheer except for one player can you guess who that was where everyone went everyone was going way way and then they said this one and everyone said uh, um, is it white yeah poor old Gary. oh poor gary white yeah poor gary. i feel bad he should have he, yeah. he should have got a reception shouldn't he but we'll see it wasn't, we'll it wasn't see. a boo it wasn't a boo it's just that everyone just sort of just started talking a lull. Between, between themselves yeah <laughs> Yeah, looking at their phone. It's just a murmur. Yeah. It's just a yay, yay, yay. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah. Well, even Schofield got a, la- uh, a bigger reward than him. Oh, it? yeah, he got yeah, he got a half one, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so Pompey are League One champions. They are going to be in the championship next year. Next week, I'll tell you what we'll do next week as well, because obviously we'll know, with the exception of the playoffs, who's going up from the championship, who's coming down. And so we'll kind of look at who we really quite fancy to play next year in that who's championship the, uh, tour. <clears throat> sorry, who's coming down from the Premier League? Sheffield United. Well, at the moment, <clears throat> Premier League. Yeah. Uh, Sheffield, yeah. Sheffield United, Burnley, and Luton, really, isn't it? But it could be Forest instead of Luton, or it could Burnley. be it could be it could be Burnley could keep save themselves. They could have likely in it. Burnley, Burnley. Sheffield United. In. God. <laughs> They're not exciting in any league, are they, Burnley? It's just it's such yeah. a, a long, long yeah. travel as well, isn't it? And and we finish on Burnley against Stoke. <laughs> right. I'm going up to bed. Yeah. yeah. Whoever likes of those, whoever likes of those to look forward to. All right. So player of the year, here is. Have you got your Have you got your shortlist? I've got five. I've shortlisted five. Uh, I, I haven't. Down I to haven't. Three, don't we? And do you know why? Go on. Because I me, completely forgot. <laughs> no way. <laughs> but it's okay because I'll just do them now. They're all. I, I mean, I know it is. I know. I know okay. what I'm saying. I've just written. I've already written three down there. Okay. Um, fact, and another one. And that's four. Okay. And let me just think. I think four are going to be the same. I think we're going to have four yeah. the same, and uh, then and then a, and then a fifth. I yeah, I've got them. We'll have we'll have four, and then we'll have a long shot. Outsider. We? We'll have a, we'll have, yeah, an outsider, fifty to one. An, an honorary mention. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll start with. I'll start with. Well, obviously, he got to play of the season for the. I think it was the football writers or whatever they call it, the, the news writers, sports yeah. mail. Marlon Pack is my first nominee. Well, I don't know if you saw. I don't know whether you would have seen it on TV, but they did the man. They did the player of the season awards. Yeah. Did you see this on TV? Yeah, or, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you saw yeah. Pack get about 15 separate yeah, players yeah. this season. All right, yeah. yeah. So Lane got one, didn't he? Um, what's this for? Player of the season. Goal of the season. No, Moxon no. was goal of the season, wasn't it? Moxon was goal of the season. Yeah, no, Paddy, Paddy Lane got a player of the season one, voted for by someone. Oh, and, okay. So and, it's all the yeah, different supporters different awards. groups. Yeah. Did he get, did he get sure. his from the Paddy Lane supporters group? I think it was. Yeah. The the uh, yeah the Northern Irish Lane family. <laughs> it was Lane just him and White. Award. Him and White yeah. were the only contenders. <laughs> yeah. Him and him and Devlin. So yeah, he got one, oh, yeah, and then Pack Pack got all the rest, and it was about 15, I think it was about fifteen different. Yeah, no, it was. I think it was about fifteen. Yeah. So yeah, Pack. I think is definite. Um, definite choice, yeah. And there's the next one. My next one is Sean Raggett. <laughs> Sean Raggett. Are we are we saying who are are we saying who are favourites? Who who we want to? Well, no, no, no. I think we go okay. with what we what we actually do. I think is because we're going to have some guests on next week. And I think we I think we get the guests to we'll give them our shortlist, and they can choose yeah. between the two of them who. Theirs is, and if there's a tie, then we'll 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 step in and 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 yeah, and just <laughs> just, just, kick, just kick them out, and we'll make the decision for them. But yeah, okay, sure, Mary. So for why is that? Why is that? We know why, but go on. Because yeah, so obviously beginning of the season, not not in the starting eleven, only came in because Paul was injured. Possibly was only a temporary to come back in as well, but mm-hmm. I don't think I I can't even think of one. I mean, normally, when he's when he's been playing every week, he'll make a mistake where which will lead to a goal, you know. But mm-hmm. I think this whole 
this whole season since he's come in, I don't think he's put a foot wrong at all. Mm. And yeah, and just not even just a not even a, a nostalgia type vote. I just think he's not nostalgia, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like just um, giving it to him because he's a legend. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Sentimental. Sentimental vote. I just think yeah. he's been he's been quality since he came in. Yeah. And he was really good against Wigan. Uh, he was one of yeah. the better players again. I think he yeah, got man the match, didn't he? Possibly well. man the match, yeah. 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 yeah, he did, yes, yeah, that's yeah. right. And actually, he's been probably borderline man the match, if not man the match, the last three or four games, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So been, that's, uh, that's, excellent. that's one of mine. Yeah. Yeah, good. 100% agree. My next one, my next nominee is Abu Kamara, for obvious reasons. I just think, with the exception of the first four or five games, where I just thought he was a bit, and I've said this several times, just thought he was a bit lacklustre. But since then. <clears throat> Since he went over to the right hand side, I think he's been excellent. I think he's yes. absolutely uh, shone. He's created goals for fun. He's scored goals for fun. Absolute. For, from, a, from a lone player point of view, I think what we've done really well this season is we've got lone players who seem to actually care. Yeah. Um, even, as we said last week, even the players who weren't playing that much, like Miles Mar- 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 Harris um, and Tino Andrew, still looked as if they were properly involved and properly brought into the squad, which is great. But I think Kamara epitomised that season. Uh, yeah, and, and I think... He's really good as well for, for a, that type of player, you know, like an attacking wide player. His work rate was good. Yeah. You want you want a bit of excitement from a winger, don't you? And I think he's, he does that. You never know whether he's going to cut, you know, cut inside or go on the outside, mm. um, have a shot or get a cross in. So I think that's that's really good. We haven't had a winger that exciting for a, for a while, I don't think. No. Do you know why 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 he went off at half time the other day? Was it a knock or no? Uh, I don't I know. I've seen any anything about it, but I thought we were saying even if he was even if it was the fact that they wanted to take him off tactically, surely just for the fact it's going to be his last game at Fratton Park, most likely, just bring him back on just so he gets the applause when he goes off. Yeah, yeah, I don't know actually. Even if it was literally for a minute, just bring him back on. As soon as the next time ball goes out, bring him off, and yeah. just so you get yeah. I think he would have got a big, a big applause. But yeah, shame. The next one from you is oh, I'd have to be shocked to see them. Mm. I think yeah, yeah, very good, very good all season. Had a really good partnership with Paul at the beginning of the season, and then has just again like Raggett, not put not really put a foot wrong. Not made many mistakes, scored the winning goal to win mm. off the league. So yeah, yeah. And I think like, initially like he was brought in tape. as a backup central of central midfielder, wasn't he? A backup a defensive oh, central he? midfielder. I think so. He did play the opening game. Lee Taylor played, but then he came in and hasn't looked back. Has he? I think he's been immense yes. in that position. All right. Yeah. And so my my final one it is left field, but Joe, you know it shouldn't be left field mm. because. He's our top scorer. He's been our top scorer for two seasons. He he never does much wrong, but oh, yeah. just for some reason seems to get unnecessarily abused. Is probably a bit strong, but is has a, has a bit of a I don't know divisiveness in amongst fans. But last season's player of the season, Colby Bishop, is my final nominee. Yeah, for the fact they're getting twenty goals. You know, second top scorer in the league again. Our top scorer, one in two average. Yeah, yeah. you can't ask for more than this for the striker than that, can you? No, holds the ball up yeah. well. Put, never gives less than hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I think I, 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 yeah. He, he would be my fifth as well. Purely, like you say, goals. I thought he was very good beginning of the season. He had that sticky patch, didn't he? But he came back. Yeah. Never, never stopped working. Work, always works really hard. I think. I think only one other player I can think of that would have been in contention for it would have been Joe Morrell if he didn't get injured, yeah. obviously. But yeah. I can't really think of anyone else that I would say maybe Joe Rafferty. Consistent wise, but never, never anything. It just doesn't do enough to kind of get you excited, does he? That no, you even brag strange, a bit of defender still gets forward yeah. and wallops it from thirty yards every now and then. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, Rafferty has been good. I think he's a good solid fullback. But not not for me. Uh, okay, so there you go. There's our five. Uh, let us know who you think is your player of the season. Our choices are between Pack, Kamara, Shocknessy, Raggett, and Colby Bishop. We'll let you know next week who is chosen by our special guests. Do you have a quiz? Let's get quizzing. 
Yes, please. Quiz time. It's the quiz time. It's the quiz time. You got a quick one, have you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mine's mine's quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, no, it's quick. All right. Okay, just, good, just, good, good. Right. Do you want me to go first then? Yeah, go on. So, guess what my quiz is on? Sports from football clubs. That's, that's correct. Yeah, stats, 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 stats. Oh. Well, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's partly stats. Oh, it's it's no, no, it's the Portsmouth squad this season. So you'll be fine. Okay. You'll be absolutely okay. fine. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I don't yeah, even well, know how many points you can get. Possibly eleven or so. There's there's, there's a few about five questions. Right. Are you ready? Go Here we go. Then. Yeah. Go on. Go on. So you'll be fine with these. Absolutely fine. You might even clear. You might even get a clean sweep. Ready? Yeah, right. Well, In this yeah. season's squad, how many players are age thirty or above? And can you name them? Okay, so you've got Rafferty. We're talking 30 at the beginning of the season, I assume. So uh, as, Rafferty, of today, as of today. Okay, so Rafferty, Raggett, Pack in the squad. There's no, there's, no, there's no tricks. There's no tricks here. I'm not going to say someone that's played once. In the okay. Game. Oh, no, well, no, there would be. But... Thinking through the team then, so I'm not sure how old Macy is. I don't think he's that old. I don't think, I think Norris is about 27, 28, isn't he? And that might be it. Oh, Evans, Evans. Is he over 30? Yeah, he must be about 30, mustn't he? So let's say Evans as well. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I'm giving you clues. Um, I'm, saying, I'm saying no. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I think that's it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with the three then. If three, Evans isn't. okay. I can tell you that Joe Rafferty is 30. Raggett is 31. Marlon Pack is 33, the old man, and there is a fourth. Oh, it is Norris. Oh, I can't oh is he 30? Is he? Reason. He's 30. What's his first name? <laughs> it's Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Morris. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Norris, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Who is his first name? Johnny Norris. Will, 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 yeah, there you go. I don't know why that just went <laughs> out of my head. Will Norris is 30 years old, so that's four. Is he 30? Oh, yeah, man. He is, okay. Yeah. All right. right. Okay. Fair enough. Ready. <clears throat> Question number two. So do, I get, do I get three points for that? Yeah, you can have three points. There you go. That's yeah, right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Right. nice. right. Question number two. Unfortunately, there are three Welsh players in the squad. <laughs> okay. Joe Morrell, Regan yeah. Paul, and who is the third? Chris Evans. <laughs> who? I'll have to take your first answer, I'm afraid. <laughs> It's Lee Evans. It's not. It's Lee Evans. Sorry, it's God, I said that. I did that Zero. before. No. Zero out of one. Before. How can you forget? How before. can you forget a player's first name? Okay. Yes, it's it's Lee Evans. Question number three. I told you these were easy. Yeah. As you probably know, Kamara mm. and Devlin are the youngest players in the squad at age twenty. But can you name the three players who are twenty-one years old? Oh. Oh, no. You you can name. You can name. In, are we including loans? Yes. Okay, so Robertson. Alex One. Robertson. Yeah. But Harris. Two. I think is Andrew you, Andrew in still twenty one? You got you got the two you got the two that I thought were the, the well, sort of most difficult out of the three. I think Paddy Lane's a bit older than that, isn't he? Isn't he? He's like <laughs> three. Yeah. Is he got 23? Uh, yeah. So Swanton, no, Swanton's older than 21 right now, isn't he? You'll kick yourself. Yeah, he's, he's, only, he's only young, Swanton. I think he's 22. He's older than, is he? I think he's 22, um, 23. Is it 22? Oh, oh, Towler. 23. Towler's one, isn't he? Towler's one. Towler's, Towler's 22. Oh. <laughs> oh, mate, I'll um, give you one, one last chance. Okay. Oh, you'll kick give yourself. Give me the position. Give me the position. No. Forward. <laughs> Forwardy, forward, forwardy, forwardy. More, more forward um, than uh, midfield. Okay, Mid midfieldy forward, midfieldy forward striker. Come on, come on. Oh, Sadie, Christian Sadie. Sadie, there you go. Three out of three. Well done, and no clues. Right, <laughs> question four. Question four. Who is the only Scottish player in the squad? Oh, is it Richard Richard Hughes? Is he still? No, um, he's got he's gone now. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Scottish player in the squad. Scottish player. Oh wow. Does does Ogilvy qualify as being Scottish? He's a bit ginger. 
Uh, he's Jim Jones, oh, it's, he's it's, and he looks like the drummer out of <laughs> Privy uh, Clyro. Privy Clyro. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they actually a Scottish international? They're not, are they? Uh, well, I don't know. I've been Scottish international if I was. Gonna have to have. I genuinely, I'm afraid. I genuinely don't know. I'm afraid. No, Sorry. this is the probably the most trickiest one. It is Tom McIntyre. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I know he's got a Scottish name, but. Mm. Okay. Right. Oh, Last yeah. question: Which of these players started the most games for Pompey? This is league, by the way. Which of these players okay. started the yeah. most games for Pompey this season? Owen yeah. Moxon or Cusini Yengi? Oh, that's tricky, isn't it? Because it is, be isn't it? The same. They're going to be that same. I will. I will. I will go. Moxon. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Okay. Trying to help. Okay. <laughs> right then. You are right to go, Owen Moxon. He yes. started. How many do you reckon? Oh, maybe eight. Yeah. Bang on. <laughs> okay. How did Yengi? Seven. Yeah. Eight and a seven. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Started seven games. It's nothing, is it? Out of 40, no, 45. No. And he's still got, yeah. what, nine league goals, I think, did he, Yengi? I don't know, uh, most from the bench. But... He got <laughs> 11, it says here, but that's, that's all. Oh, that's including teams. cut, though, isn't it? I think. Yeah. That's including cut. Um, Oh, okay. okay, hold on. Uh, I'm going to do it now. He got seven. No, that starts. <laughs> he got, he well, got Stan's looking up. nine, like you said. Nine goals, like you said, yes. Like you said, okay, yeah, like you said yeah, ten yeah. minutes yeah. ago. <laughs> <laughs> if you know how many games Cassini Yengi has played for Portsmouth, and you got that one right, if you've got any of those right, pop them in the uh, comments. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Pompey Pod. We'll uh, say you got seven out of eleven involved. there. Seven out of eleven. Okay. All right. All right. Well, this is just out of five, and it's multiple choice. You'd be pleased to know. And what mine is on for you yeah. is on my shortlist players for the player of the season. So each question is about a different one of those shortlisted players. Multiple choice. Starting with Marlon Pack. Yeah. How many league goals has Marlon Pack scored for Portsmouth since returning? So over two seasons. How many league goals? Is it eight, ten, or twelve? Well, he's only got about three or four this season. Uh, it's over two years, don't forget. So I know he, eight, yeah, eight, ten, or I know, twelve. I know he scored. He scored about the same last season. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with eight. I think it's probably ten, but I'm going to go with eight. That's why I won. Yeah. I'm correct to go eight. I think it's three last year, five this season. Correct? Yes. Okay. Abu Kamara made his championship debut on the 1st of April 2023 as a second half substitute against which team? Or was it Sheffield United, Luton, or Burnley? Ah. Uh, that was against Burnley. Work, didn't it? Yeah, that was against Burnley. I remember that. It was against Sheffield United. Yeah. One out of two. Yeah. Connor Shocknessy. You know Connor Shocknessy. You may even have asked me this question yourself at some stage, but what's his middle name? Connor Shocknessy's middle name, is it Patrick, Ewan, or uh, Connor Shocknessy? Connor, Connor Glenn Shocknessy. I think it's Glenn, isn't it? It's Glenn. It's Glenn. Yeah, it is Glenn. Yeah. I think I didn't realise until I looked at it uh, then and I thought uh, it suddenly came to me that you might have asked me that before yourself. Okay, so two out of three so far on our shortlist. Sean Raggett's up next. Sean Raggett played one match for the England Seaside. But against who did they play? Did they play Wales, Scotland or the Republic of Ireland? Sorry, was that uh, who the England seaside? <laughs> yeah, not the seaside. All oh, right, okay. England. <laughs> England seaside against against who is it? Who is it? Scotland, Ireland, Wales. It was only, it was only players from Portsmouth, Brighton, uh, uh, yeah. Bournemouth, Blackpool. Yeah. Yes. Scotland, Ireland, Wales. Is that what you said? Uh, yes. No. Uh, yes. Yeah, Scotland, Ireland, or Wales. Yeah. Republic. Was, Republic of Ireland. Yeah. Republic of Ireland. You sure? Yeah. Positive. That is correct. 
That is correct. Three out of four. Good, strong finish here. Colby Bishop is our final man. He made his first professional appearance as a sub against Milton Keynes Dons in December 2014. Which team was he playing for? Yeah. Was he playing for Accrington Stanley, Burton Albion, or Notts County? Well, he, he came from Accrington, didn't he? So that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be his first... Uh, it was four. Notts, Albion, Burton, Notts County. <laughs> Notts County, it was four. Definitely. You stick, four you stick with that? Oh, stick with that? Yeah, Going for yeah. a four out of five, 80%. Yeah. 80% strong yeah. finish. Yeah. yeah. You are correct. It was for Notts County. He is a Nottinghamshire lad, isn't he? Hence his uh, Get in. rivalry with Derby. Get in. Uh, but well played. Well played. Strong, strong Thanks. finish. So that, you slightly win, because if I got 7 out of 11, which is around about 60-something percent, isn't it? And you, therefore, got 80%. Well played. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Indeed. You. Okay, so a couple of things to mention. One is, and I need to refer to my phone for this, is a charity match that is happening on Bank Holiday Monday, 27th of May, down at the John Jenkins Stadium. It'll be the first official match at the John, Jen John Jenkins Stadium. It's between the Portsmouth Charity Squad and FC Global Kickers. Doors open at noon, kick off around about 1, around about 1 p.m. That's when we kick off. Yes, hello. What's, what's a Portsmouth Charity Squad? Portsmouth Charity Squad, formerly known as Portsmouth Legends, but they're not. They're, for some reason, they're not called Portsmouth Legends anymore. They're now called the Portsmouth Charity Squad. I don't know who's in that as yet, but we will let you know once more details become available. There, no players have been confirmed. As, oh, actually, Michael Doyle is the only player who's been confirmed so far. But apart oh. from that, no one else has been confirmed for the Portsmouth Squad. All right. We'll let you know. Tickets are twelve pound for adults, five pound for children. They will be limited to about a thousand, I think, but that'd be a good little day out if you fancy it. Yeah. Other than that, also in other news, other than Barnsley that, sacked their manager with one game to go, and yeah, uh, I saw that. And yeah. the playoffs, strange. Yeah. Very odd. Rumor has it they're after the Lincoln manager, which <clears throat> could be interesting at the weekend. So this weekend we are playing Lincoln. Lincoln do have something to play for because, as things stand in the league, Oxford are only drawing, so Lincoln is still in sixth place. Yep. Meaning, if they beat us, they will be in the playoffs. Um, Maybe Oxford are only drawing. They're, they're not. Playing. Sorry, they're not only drawing. They're, they're losing, aren't they? No, they're not playing. Oh, so, no, they're not playing. Tell lie. I'm talking nonsense. Oxford are level on points with Lincoln, yeah. is what I mean to say. Yeah. They drew their last game. Cheltenham are beating Peterborough. It's, they are, it's, yeah. Uh, it's a shock result at the moment. The shock score at the moment. But so, a couple of things then. So, a couple of questions. So, who would you rather go up, Derby or Bolton? Go up automatically. Oh, I couldn't, couldn't care. Couldn't care one. Just. Yeah, no, no, honestly, do not give a shit. They can both oh, go up. Dude. They can both stay down. I don't care. Okay. I honestly good. don't care. I, I, I feel there may be a similar sort of answer to the next question then. Yeah. Uh, who do you think will win the playoffs? Let's assume uh, that Bolton don't go up and they're in the playoffs. Let's see. With who's, Peter and Lincoln. Yeah, it's who's the least irritating, isn't it? That's... That's who you'd want to win it. Let's let's let Lincoln win it then. Let's let Lincoln win the <laughs> not Oxford. Yeah, no, they're they're the most irritating. So uh, don't, we don't want Oxford to get in. Oh, so they can still get in, can't they? Do a chance. They have. It's been outside. Well, I suppose they're yeah. only a point off it. Yeah. 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 No, I suppose Barnsley. Barnsley with their Barnsley. with their no manager. Yeah. Okay. Gone, I don't really care about. Yeah. They're all the same to me. All these clubs. In League One, other than Pompey. Okay. okay. Glad you're asked, yeah. We are up. Who cares? Who cares? We are up. We're in the in the next. We we we, we our seventeen game unbeaten streak is beaten, but it's gone. Not beaten. It's gone. But never mind. We're happy anyway because we've won the league and we will be in the championship next season. Next week we will be joined by a couple of special guests. They're special to us. They won't be special to our audience, but we'll be joined by them. And we'll do a similar sort of thing. We'll review the Lincoln game. We'll have a little quiz. And we'll confirm the player of the season from the Pompey Pods player of the season. And also, if you're interested in the Euros, we will have some Pompey Pod at the Euros over the summer. But that'll be our last one next week for this, uh, this particular portion of season. As I say, there won't be a similar one next week. It'll be completely different because there'll be four of us. But we will see you then. Goodbye. Bye.